All right, as we just saw the sniper on top of the building. The sniper. Right, right. Now, as we were talking about that before we played it um, during the commercial break, uh, I uh, sort of considered that it was a, a violent video. You said it, and your, your reactions were? I don't think it's violent. I mean, you got all these other movies that they got out, the Rambos and mm -hmm. all that, where they show all the killings and everything. That video, I didn't show no killings. It just showed somebody shooting the camera, you know. Okay. You know. Right. And I don't think it's violent. Okay. And then so, again, I got, I got one that got a disclaimer at the beginning that says, you know, this is just acting and everything else. Okay. Okay. I can understand that. Do you think that our young youth are trying to live out the videos that uh, Easy E and other producers uh, portray and produce and sing? I don't know right now because they're trying to blame a lot of violence on rap, which violence would be here if it was if rap wasn't here anyway you know it's an mm -hmm. individual i think it is a person mm -hmm. they see all this stuff and they just want to go out and do it i don't know i don't think violence the, the rap make people go out and do things mm -hmm. you know so what are what are you portraying in this video here oh, i'm just a neighborhood sniper and who I'm are you taking out the bad guys that's all oh you're taking out the bad guys yeah. in the neighborhood right Okay, so it's not... Like the drug dealers and stuff like that. I'm mm -hmm. just taking out the bad guys. Okay, and what is the lyrics on this song about a little bit? What, what Basically, are... it's talking about the neighborhood sniper. Mm-hmm. And you need, some, you need a good guy, yeah, to, I'm the good uh, guy to take out the bad guys and clean up the neighborhood. The violent hero. The violent hero. Okay. That's what you call it. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're not trying to dump on you because sometimes we get a lot of calls about the dance show and, right. and they ask us different questions. Why do the dancers do this and that and the other? They're and <laughs> They're trying to get movies. <laughs> and I kind of explain yeah. myself to them, you know, sometimes uh, it's, it's, a, it's a natural feeling what, what, what people portray from Africa, the way they, the beat and the dancing, you know. So I, you know, I'm not dumping on you, but just some questions we have to ask. A lot of dancers that get up there and shake and do all this stuff got a lot of real jobs now. I mean, they got movies. Look at Rosie Perez. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She got a lot of movies and okay. different yeah. shows. All right. what, what would you do, what would you be doing if you wasn't rapping? What would you like to do if you, you wasn't a rapper? Uh, if I wasn't rapping, I'd probably be in trouble or something. I don't know. <laughs> but you said you were a good guy. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm a good guy. Okay. If it wasn't for this business, I figured the business is a lot positive to me. Okay. I'm doing something good. I could have been doing something bad or either dead or in jail or something. Mm -hmm. so How did it start for you, the, um, the career? Yeah. Basically, I started to just uh, start a record label and like recruit new talent, and I ended up rapping myself. Okay. And then it happened, I guess, which I wasn't going to never rap anyway. Okay. Okay. Now, did you ever at one time, uh, you had uh, Dre on your label at one time? Or, he, or was he yeah, with you? He was in NWA. Okay. And he was a producer okay. for Ruthless Records. All right. All right. So Snoop Dogg was never with you? No, nah, he was never with me. Okay. I noticed you're very short on those, on those two. <laughs> Those two names, you have very little to say. I talk about them all day. I mean, you know, I make money from Dre and Snoop, so mm -hmm. it don't matter. Okay. It's all good. Have, have you and Dre have ran into each other on one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, Dre stays right around the corner from me, but when he sees me, he ducks his head because he's scared to face me, you know. Why? Why? Because he's screwed up. He, you know, he, why, why would he want to dump? What reason would he have to dump on you? He would have to what? What reason would he have to, 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 to dump you, to talk about to you? To dump me? To diss you? Um, somebody put him up to that. See, Dre now works for somebody that used to work for him. And how he claims that death row is his, it's somebody else. It's a bodyguard that used to work for Dre. Mm -hmm. Dre now works for him. So he all screwed up. Oh, okay. So in other words, it's like leave, leave easy to album and... Come over here. Come and over then it was like a little threatening and a little everything. It got kind of serious. Mm -hmm. Where it got so serious with Dre, owed these people so much money that he burnt his house down. He ended up getting shot because he owed money and he got nothing but problems. And you see all the other problems he having now. On the road, they canceled his tour. And mm -hmm. What about, was this some, about, something about one of his boys stealing a van or doing a, a drive-by? Is, is that true? They stole a van, supposed to be uh, in Milwaukee, mm -hmm. when they was on the road. I guess they jacked the van drivers for the van. And then uh, Snoop was involved in a drive-by shooting. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. He out on bail right now. 
But hey, good luck, brother. <laughs> what is that going to do to our, um, to to the fans that love you, and that look up not, you know, the, the love the rap music? How do you think they take uh, things like that? As far as their 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 heroes or their idols doing drive-bys, um, well, see, hijacking. I don't know how the people out here take it, but people out there know how he really was. He was a dancer. Now he's trying to live a fantasy of stuff that he rap about. And uh, I don't know, they think he's perpetrating, really. They're trying to be hard. They're trying to live up to everything that they're talking about, basically. Right. But out here, I don't know. Okay, I guess it's enough about uh, Snoop Dogg and the gang. Let's just let's, let's, let's talk about Easy e um, We're going to show you a new video, um, the one we just received. Tell us about that, the new one. Uh, basically, the new one is uh, Dre did a Dre Day, and he had a guy in there acting like he was me. So I got the same guy to act in this video, and we chased him <laughs> down and ran him out. And then we got nice little clips of Dre in there when he was act being RuPaul. And original yeah. clip, original clips of uh, of uh, of uh, Dre. Untouched photos, with Dre with the lipstick, lace. I mean, the lipstick, uh, sequence outfit, eyeliner, eyeshadow, all the whole works. Do you infringe in copyright laws when you uh, or, or pictures or something like that uh, when you show uh, his picture? The old photos owned <coughs> by somebody else before, so you can use the photos anytime you really want them, as long as it's not nothing up to date. Okay. Here's the video. Check it out. Easy E. All right, baby. That's hot. That's hot, man. Uh, let's introduce your boys that you brought in with you. Uh, this is DJ Yala. Okay. You know, Yellow from NWA. Okay. Producer. This is Gangster Dracer. He's featured on this new video, new song that we're doing, Real Compton City G's. Okay, man. All right, man. I want to say thank you for coming down to the dance show and thank you for uh, stopping by saying hi. Thank uh, you for having us down. The video show, we have a video request show that we're going to play this on, our dance show. And uh, we might even be clipping into our late night show, but you guys are real. And uh, I'd like for you to say something to Detroit, Yellow. But you guys, you know, keep buying the records for us out there and look out for the new Easy double album coming up. I just want to say, you know, we've been going around the record stores. We're going to get a lot of support from Detroit. Just want to thank y'all for all the support and just keep buying the records and look out for Gangsta Dre's album coming out in uh, January, February sometime. Okay. Now also, we're on two satellites. We're on Main Street Television Satellite and we're on Access America. So, Easy, what do you want to tell the satellite people that's watching us on the satellite and cable TV? Thank you for your support. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is RJ Watkins, new dance show video request. And hey, these brothers are real. And Sean P, you all right, baby. You know Sean P? Yeah, yeah that's, that's brother all right. <laughs> and we out of here. And here's a video. We're going to play it again. Check it out. So suck the please, suck the please, don't step to these real Compton City G's. Yo, this is Easy E, and when I'm in town, I check out the new dance show with R.J. Watkins. Believe that. Yo, this is Easy E, and you're watching Video Request, where you're the DJ. Yo, this is Easy E, and I'd like to wish everybody a happy New Year's, and real G's stay ruthless. Yo, this is Easy, and I'd like to wish R.J. Watkins a happy anniversary. Yo, this is Easy, and when I'm in town, I check out the new dance. What is it? Yo, this is Easy, and you're watching video. Well, up to the.